you know, I do kind of have food. But first, uh, look at all these cameos we have. We have Kirby Story. We have Wario. We have this game. And we have The Legend of Stafey. It was the year 2003 when I first heard about this character named Stafey. Or, to be more accurate, Staffy or Starfy, as he would later be called. Back then, I didn't think this was a reference to anything. Just a silly little character that Alpha Dream made up that wasn't actually from another game or series whatsoever. And boy, was I wrong back then. Boy, was I wrong. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my next Let's Play. I'm going to be playing through a game called The Legendary Starfy, which came out on the Nintendo DS in 2008. And the funny thing about this game, or this series rather, is that this is not the first game in this series. Uh, the Legendary Starfy first came out uh, in 2002 on the Game Boy Advance, uh, but only as a Japan-only title and it would go on to release three additional games on the Game Boy Advance as well. Uh, so this is actually the fifth Legendary Starfy, but it's the only Legendary Starfy game uh, that came out to international audiences, and there actually hasn't been a new game since this game. Um, but uh, if you've been around the Nintendo block, you may have noticed a few cameo appearances uh, by Starfy, who is this cute little starfish guy. Um, in 2003, Starfy did actually appear in Mario & Luigi uh, Superstar Saga. Uh, in the Yoshi Theater, there was actually a movie poster, or a game poster, that was actually advertising the series at the time. Uh, in fact, that was actually my first, uh, that's when I first became aware of uh, the series. Kind of indirectly, though. Uh, because at the time, I actually thought that was a reference to Paper Mario because of Twink. Because he looks very similar to Twink in the Paper Mario series. Uh, but later on, I would go on to find out that no. Um, uh, Starfy is actually a reference to his own series. And then he would also become an assist trophy in the Super Smash Bros. series. Uh, starting in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. He's the uh, star character that's... Relatively easy to knock around, but he does kind of uh, try to help you out by spinning into your enemies and, you know, all that other good stuff. Um, but yeah, um, when I first saw this game uh, come out, I was very interested to see what the game was like. Uh, being someone who, you know, got exposure to the series that was a Japan-only title, kind of reminded me a bit of how I got first associated with the Fire Emblem series as well. Now, I will say, I wouldn't say I love this game or this series as much as Fire Emblem, but it is still a very fun game, and I had my fun when I played this game when it first came out. Now, full disclosure, I do think the uh, game in the series is relatively simple. There's not a lot you have to do or think about when you're playing through this game. It's a very uh, simple platformer that has, like, um, underwater and uh, on-land platforming elements to it. Um, but um, one thing I did actually really enjoy about this game is that uh, the dialogue and interactions between characters is actually pretty charming, and I had a lot of fun with that when I first played this series. And, uh, well, I thought it would be an interesting game to uh, let's play for you guys. Now, in the future, uh, I may go back and play the other Starfy games, but that will largely depend on if maybe they re release a collection at some point, or I can actually find like a good like translation patch of the games because you know obviously since that's the a charming aspect of this game the dialogue I'd like to be able to actually read it and know what's going on in those older older titles so uh, we'll have to see about that I'm not going to promise anything but it is definitely something I'll consider uh, for the future and future let's plays um, but yeah let's go ahead and actually get started here um, I hope you guys enjoy this let's play I've been looking forward to uh, doing this game at some point, and it, it should be a good time. It should be a very, very good time. Uh, so yeah, let's start uh, the Legendary Starfy. High in the sky. Above the ocean. 
There was once a floating kingdom called Pufftop. The prince of Pufftop was named Starfy. He wasn't exactly like other princes. His head was always in the clouds. It was just another relaxing day in the kingdom of Pufftop. <laughs> when Starfy was awakened from a nap by an alarming sound. Someone crashed through the ceiling. Starfy was shocked. He tried talking to him, but the unexpected visitor was too bewildered to answer. Who was this mysterious fellow? Starfy didn't know what to do. There he is, nyehehe. <laughs> You're coming with us, kid. Three shadowy goons crashed through the wall. They started dragging the little fellow away. They were trying to kidnap the little guy. When Starfy saw what they were up to... Hey, what gives? Who's the starfish? Stay out of this, or you'll regret it. Uh, huh? Starfy used a whirling, swirling attack to clobber the bad guys. Where'd the kid go? Great. This is all his fault. We'll be back for you, pal. This isn't over. Boom. After the three goons ran away, Starfy heard someone calling his name. Starfy. Hey, Starf. It was Starfy's best friend, Mo. What's all the racket? Who was that in the spaceman getup? He ran off that away. Friend of yours? Yeah, yeah. Well, where'd he go? The kid jumped off here into the ocean. Starfy was worried. Why were those bad guys chasing the young visitor? He made up his mind. He had to find them. Ha! Huh, real funny, Starf. We can't go after him. Not happening. Squid monster. Down there. Huge one. You're nuts. Huh? Ah! Starfy's big adventure began with quite a splash. Who was that strange fellow who fell from the sky? Why was he being chased by a gang of shady, shady goons? There were so many questions and it was up to Starfy to find the answers. So here we go. We now have control of Starfy. So uh, we are currently in the water right now. You can move around with the D-pad. You can press the B button or hold the B button to actually swim. And yeah, because uh, Starfy is a starfish, 
naturally, uh, swimming is going to be his thing. Uh, so you'll have a lot of levels where you're going to be underwater and, uh, you know, basically trying to swim around. However, this is not the only element of the game, and we'll go over those other elements later. But for now, we're just going to swim through this hallway, and then we're going to go through this door. You press the X button to go inside the doors. Hi. Hiya! Are you Starfy? Like, THE legendary Starfy? Title drop. No way! I can't believe it! I bet you're going on an awesome adventure, right? I can totally help you. If you see any shells like that one I have, press X to tell me all about the stuff you did. Then I'll just remember it all and, like, save your progress. Or you can press start and then select save. That'll do the trick anytime. Try to save, like, often, okay? I'm down at the touch screen if you ever want any mermaid gossip. Good luck. The mermaid gossip feature has been added to the touch screen. So yeah, I guess you could say, uh... The bottom screen is kind of like a, uh, a general Navi functionality where it just kind of gives you tips about the game. Uh, so use your turbo swim ability to speed through the sea. Okay, that's really all they're going to tell us. But yeah, that'll be uh, basically on the bottom screen. You can press the uh, question mark to actually get more um, information and stuff too. Um, so yeah, whenever you see a shell, press the X button to save the game. Um, you probably don't have to do that that much, if I'm being honest, but, uh, you know, it's there. It's there if you ever need it. Um, but yeah, you can also press the Y button while you're swimming to do kind of a spinning attack. Uh, this is how Starfy will actually attack enemies, and you can also, uh, uncover stuff behind, uh, the kelp or seaweed or whatever you can find underwater, basically. Starfy loves pearls. They replenish his energy, so collect as many as you can. You can also use them to buy bonus items for Starfy. Push the R button to check out Moe's case on the map screen to do some shopping. Starfy style. Okay, so we'll see that later. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be trying to collect as uh, many of these uh, pearls as we can, so we can try to buy as many things as we can too. Okay, we got a treasure chest. You got Moe's Diary. So we can actually take a look at the diary here. These are just general notes that have, like, general flavor text that you'll find throughout the game. Uh, let's go ahead and read this entry. It looks like Starfy and I got swept up into another adventure. Sheesh! I tried to stop him. Well, as long as he checks the abilities screen from the pause screen and listens to my brilliant ideas, I think we'll be alright. Love that confidence, Mo. Love that confidence. You're gonna be just fine. Let's actually go up here. Um, but yeah, uh, like I mentioned, like underwater is just a part of the platforming in this game. Uh, there will be times where you'll go above ground, and there are other abilities you can get that you can use above ground, but at this point of the game, we don't really have much, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Um, so yeah, uh, I would definitely try to collect as many pearls as you can. Uh, like uh, the game mentioned, uh, pearls will uh, replenish your health if you do get damaged. And uh, you'll be able to buy some like cool items uh, when you get back to the map screen as well. And uh, I'll be trying to get as much as I can in this playthrough. Sorry, Starf. I couldn't catch him. Big Squiddy still has that kid who fell from the sky. They're gone now. Guess we'll have to head back to Puff Top. Yep. Right, Starf? Whoa, what's that shiny crystal thing? You found it after that kid crashed through the roof? You think maybe it belongs to him, eh? Well, that's too bad. Let's head home. Starf, what are you thinking? I don't like it when you get that look in your eye. What? Come on, Starf. You want to give that crystal thingy back to that kid? Alright, fine. But then we're heading home. My clam chores aren't going to do themselves. I wonder what clam chores uh, consist of. I'm honestly really, really uh, curious about that. Uh, so there we go. That was 1-1. Very simple level. Don't really have a lot to say about that. But uh, we are currently in the world of Glug, Glug, Glug Lagoon. And um, basically on the map screen, um, you can pick levels kind of in like a normal adventure platformer map screen format. Um... 
whenever you have like a star icon or the crown icon in that little portrait, that means you've actually collected everything in the level. So uh, I think the only thing we had to get is the chest. Uh, but in other levels, we'll find other chests and other types of items to get. So we'll try to collect as much as we can. Uh, here on the map screen, you can also press the L button to save your progress. And you can also press the R button to go to Moe's case, as it kind of described in that diary entry. Uh, there are a couple of different uh, things here. Um, first, you have the shop where you can spend your pearls on getting items. Um, do we even... No, we don't even have 80 pearls. But I think if you just uh, um, go to the shop, like you'll get different items that you can potentially buy, too. It's kind of dumb that there's not like a shop listing where you can just look at everything, but... Uh, We'll uh, check out this more when we can actually buy some of these items. Uh, then you have a mode where you can play all the mini games, but we haven't played any of the mini games yet, so that really won't matter too much. Here we have a journal where we can uh, basically uh, take a look at uh, not only uh, basically the main story beats that we found uh, in the main plot of the game, but also some side quests that we'll see uh, throughout the game as well. So. Uh, this is basically where you can just kind of get a refresher based on all the things you've done in the game. Uh, then you have stuff. Uh, this is all the treasure that uh, we can find throughout the game. I don't think we... Yeah, we don't have anything yet, unfortunately. But uh, we'll get items uh, throughout the game. We'll also get some items from the shop as well. Uh, then you have the notes, which... Uh, notes are basically like the diary entries that we'll find uh, throughout the game. There's actually quite a bit of these, too, so <laughs> we'll be collecting a lot of that as we go through the game. And then, of course, you have, uh, I think these are just, like, the story cutscenes, I think? Yeah, these are just the cutscenes, so if you want to watch any of the cutscenes again, you can do that here. And, uh, as far as the Mo show is concerned, uh, this is just, like, fun little, uh, cutscenes and, uh, dialogue exchanges between Moe and Starfy. They're kind of fun and silly. I'll go ahead and show one of them now, but I probably won't be doing too many of these. Maybe if I'm, like, you know, trying to get, like, a little extra video time, maybe I'll showcase one of these at the end of a video or something. But, uh, it's the Mo Show with me, Mo, and Yowza, we have got a show tonight. Tonight's guest is the Prince of Pufftop himself. Starf, come on out here. Starfy, how you feeling about this adventure? Lay it on us. Whoa, whoa, what's with the sunglasses? Hey, pretty fancy. Brand new. A fashion designer made them for you. Sheesh. You some kind of rock star now? I bet you can't even go outside without getting mobbed by your fans. Heh, <laughs> just ribbing you, Starf. Okay, so yeah, just like fun little like flavor text between characters. I guess you could almost say it's kind of like the skit feature in the Tales of games where just while you're going through the game, you'll just have like these little skits and exchanges between characters, which I'm always down for that kind of uh, character interaction. It's always kind of fun to see. Um, but yeah, Starfy looked pretty cool in those sunglasses. I approve. More people should wear sunglasses. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right back into the game. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this level, and then we'll see where we're at. Maybe we can do a third level. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so we're going to go to the level called uh, Star Spin. So we'll probably be doing quite a bit of spinning in this level. That's just my hunch, anyway. Okay, so once again, we are in the water. So we're going to swim around. Ooh, who do we have here? This is bad, man. This is really bad. Oh, wow, kid. You look like a star. Crazy. I'm a Herman. Starfy, huh? Cool name, man. You think you can help me? My pets got gobbled up by that gobble-up. Over there, that's the bloated fiend man that swallowed down my cuddly little cotties. What's that? You can hit the glob up with your star spin? Oh, please, please, can you save my ten cotties? I'd owe you, man. They're too cute to be food. I tagged gobble up with a tracker. Just follow the arrow and use your star spin. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this for him. Also get some um, information on the uh, star spin here. Use your star spin to attack bad guys or break barriers. Just don't get too dizzy. And yeah, that is actually a thing. Um, if you do the star spin too much, you will get dizzy and you'll be stunned for a little bit. 
I don't think you'll like take damage or anything. It's just something you gotta look uh, look out for. Uh, but yeah, we gotta chase this guy and get back the Cotties. There are some uh, pearls that we can get, but I'm gonna try to rescue um, the Cotties first. There we go. Let's go ahead and take them back. Actually, I think we can go ahead and get some of these while we're uh, going through this section. Because I don't think this is actually the continuation. I think this is just like a roundabout. We'll have to go the other way if we want to make level progress. Oh, I guess I'll go ahead and bring them back too. Far out! You got my little buddies out of Goblup's belly. Thanks so much, Starfy. What? Have I seen a giant squid carrying a floppy-eared kid? Wow. Yeah, I have. That's crazy that you just asked that. Take the shortcut behind me here, and you can probably catch up with them, man. Good luck. Just be careful if you mess with Big Squiddy. Peace out, man. Okay, so there we go. We save the Cotties. Which means we are doing some good work here, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go through this section really quick, because there are some pearls that we can find. Um, I think that's everything from this angle. Okay, so I'm just going to go up here and then go down so I can see what's in that middle section. I think we're going to have to... Oh, there's actually nothing here. Okay, well, never mind then. I guess we're not going to do that anymore. That's okay with me. So let's go ahead and go behind him. Gonna go ahead and save our game. Oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. We have our first enemies, and I got hit by the very first enemy in the game. How brilliant. Okay, so we found uh, Herman's Diary. Or Herman. Today I saw a strange little guy get dragged away by a big squiddy. The kid was dressed like he was from outer space. Far out. I hope he's okay. I could help, but I can't leave my cotties. No, you couldn't. Because that would have been irresponsible. And irresponsibility is a big no-no in the world of Starfy. At least I think it would be. Okay, so we're not going to go in that door yet. <laughs> because that's the continuation. But we do have some other goodies that we can interact with. So let's go through this door. And in here, I believe we actually have a little mini game we can uh, play. Starfy, you gotta help me, man. I lost five super rare red pearls. If I don't find them, I can't buy the good treats for my cotties. What? No way. My cotties can't eat just ordinary snacks. That's cruelty to cotties. Come on, help me, Starfy. Sure. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thank you, Starfy. Okay, so we gotta find the five pearls. They're pretty simple to find because they kind of stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> and there we go. My red pearls! Nice, Starfy. Now I can buy my pets the high-class fishy food. Sorry I keep asking you to do me favors. I guess I should give you a reward, huh? Oh, I know. I'll tell you about this crazy secret place I found. Here, let me see your map. Okay, so we actually unlocked a secret area. Uh, so, not really a secret exit, since you still go through the normal exits, but uh, think of them kind of like those big switches in uh, Kirby's Adventure. Where you hit a switch and you unlock something on the world map. That's pretty much what uh, these are, I'd say. Have to find some comparison to the Kirby series because... I, I know that the series gets a lot of comparisons to the Kirby franchise because of just the, the nature of its simplistic platforming and the fact that, you know, it's, it's very cute, much like Kirby. Which I, I can definitely understand that. I think it's a pretty... Um, apt comparison, all things considered. Yo, Starf, I just caught a whiff of treasure. My nose says it's nearby. 
If you see any funky cracks in the walls, use your star spin. If you keep a sharp eye out, we might get rich with treasure. Huh? Saving that space kit is more important than treasure? Well, if I sniff some treasure, I'll still let you know down on the touch screen. The closer you get to the treasure, the more excited you'll see me get. I might even catch a whiff of other stuff, so keep an eye on my screen, Starf. All right, all right, we can go. Let's find some treasure. I, I mean, let's let's find that kid. The Mo Sniffer feature has been added to the touch screen, so we have another uh, another thing we can actually use on the bottom screen if you don't really want to use the mermaid gossip. So let's go ahead and turn on the sniffer here. And as you can see, Mo's eyes have now lit up with treasure, so that usually indicates that uh, you know there's some treasure nearby in this room. And uh, you can actually use that as a way, like if you're trying to get 100% in this game, which in general, that's what I'm going to try to get. Uh, usually my, uh, my methodology for doing these Let's Plays and playthroughs is um, I try to get 100%. Uh, the only things I might not get are stuff you have to like grind for. And I may not grind for like all the like things you have to buy from the shop, even though I might still do that anyway, just for the hell of it. But uh, yeah, uh, usually that's how I handle like 100% playthroughs or just playthroughs in general. So um, I will be trying to get all the treasure in the game. Anything else, uh, I'll kind of wait before I make that decision. But uh, chances are generally pretty high that I'm going to try to get as much as I can, if not everything. So we got some beachwear. Aloha. Go to the stuff screen to change your outfit, which uh, we probably won't do that in this video since uh, we'll probably end the video after this level is completed. But uh, we'll definitely check that out and see what the beachwear is all about. That sounds like that could be a fun thing for Starfy to put on. I do need to be a little more careful because I'm kind of running into a lot of enemies here. Greetings, my good man. I am Globerto. I travel the world making the finest maps. Maps, globes, and charts allow you to hold the entire world in your hands. It's like magic. If you ever lose your way, come chat with me and I shall show you the map. I'm happy to be of assistance to you at any time in the future. Ta-ta, my friend. So yeah, that's another, uh, another character NPC you can interact with. Give you some basic things you can do on the map screen, stuff of that nature. I want to get that pearl. Thank you. Okay, I think that's everything in this level, so I think we can go ahead and leave now. So let's go ahead and... Well, let's go up here first, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Hell yeah! Okay, I get those pearls. And there we go, level completed. And I think with that, we are going to go ahead and end this video here. But uh, I've showcased some things, and uh, I think I'm good for uh, closing out this video here. So this has been the first episode of The Legendary Starfy. Hope you guys enjoy. I look forward to uh, seeing how this game plays out. I haven't played this game in a very long time. All I remember is I did uh, enjoy it when I played it the first time, and... Uh, I thought it would be a fun game to uh, play through again for you guys, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, see you guys next episode when we play through more of uh, Glug Glug Lagoon and take a look at some of the other options that we have. This has been Slim Kirby. Thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.